Hey fam, welcome back to my channel and to another vlog. My name is Gloria, also known as Life with Glory B. And I just want to say thank you guys so, so much for all of the love, all of the support that you have shown me over the past two years. I just returned from Crop Over and the two vlogs for Crop Over are now up and so many of you have already watched many of you have left your comments your feedback about the vlog and i can tell that you guys love travel vlogs it's just based upon my experience with what i've seen most of you love or prefer travel vlogs so it looks like i have to spend less money on clothing and more money on traveling and to be quite honest that's what i intend to do travel more experience different parts of the world more definitely go back to my hometown Barbados more this is what I really want to do more of this vlog I hope is not all over the place because I'm going to be talking quite a bit let's hope my voice lasts <laughs> the thing is I need to get a mic because when I'm talking to the camera the camera that I'm currently using is pretty far away from me it's like not directly in my face it's pro I would say about 10 feet away from me so I'm using my 50 millimeter lens which is one of the best lenses I think for capturing a person's portrait so I love to use that lens when I'm recording a sit down video so this camera was purchased for me sometime last year late in the year um, after my other camera stopped working sometimes I forget what the name oh I think it's Canon 90D so Jay bought this camera for me. In fact, Jay purchased quite a few of the things that I use um, to work with, including my Mac, my laptop, because that was also not working the, um, during the time I was actually editing a video. And he was like, okay, you know what? This is not gonna work out because you need to get the video up. So he went and he got me another one. Um, and my vlogging camera as well. So definitely one of the most supportive guys ever when it comes to like just seeing this journey be successful when it comes to my influencing journey Jay is truly one of the most supportive people in my life um, and I think it very well should be if you have a partner or a loved one so who aren't supporting you who aren't helping you to fulfill that dream if you have friends like close friends who aren't supporting you to fulfill this dream sometimes you want to you like kind of want to question it but a lot of the time it's because they do not understand or recognize how important this is for you if you are an influencer and you're watching this video so Jay definitely recognizes how important this is for me so he definitely is like my number one supporter <laughs> definitely my number one fan and I want to just thank him for always being there for me when I need help because a lot of the times you can't do this on your own you can but it is a lot more difficult it will also take you a lot longer I'm currently having a glass of plus if you're a vegan you know what it says so I'm gonna show you the bottle So this drink is very popular in Barbados, it's called a plus and we in Barbados drink that drink quite a lot. I love it. It actually gives you energy, it has like glucose and um, if I feel like a little bit low on sugar, like I was feeling a second ago after filming um, a try on for you guys which I'll be showing you as part of this um, vlog, whenever I feel that way I know I need to add something that has like glucose or something that put some increase my sugar level because that's how I was feeling a little bit shaky so I grabbed one of these and my cousin Roger was here a couple of days ago and he bought a whole bunch of them in fact he took such good care of me and Jay he cooked, he made breakfast, he made shopping I cried when he left, he doesn't even know that I cried when he left that morning it's like Having him around made me feel like home, like it makes me feel like I'm close to my family, closer to my family. And he grew up with me, my mom, my grandmother, you know, they raised him. He was, so he's 
kind of like a brother to me, him and his sister. So I truly do not see them as cousins, but definitely like a sister and my brother. Alright guys, so I know I'm kind of going to be all over the place with this video, but just different things are coming to my head as I'm talking to you guys right now. I have two questions that I kind of want to answer on this vlog before I get into the rest of the video. Just so you know, I have a giveaway before I go any further on this video. In fact, I will announce it. I'll make sure that I insert it on my thumbnail and in the name of the video. So I'm doing two giveaways on this video. So that first question is about crop over. The question was, what is crop over and is it like, how was it? the carnival like a barbecue so crop over is the season and this originated during our back in slavery time when the main source of our money in Barbados was basically crops and a lot of it was coming from sugar so we grew and still grow a lot of sugar cane in Barbados but not as much as it used to be back then and the slaves were the ones who obviously did all the work. After the crop season, you know, the cans are cut, they're cleaned and peeled and whatever, and then they're taken to the mill, they're ground, and then they're made, the sugar is made. Then the slaves actually have a chance to rest. That was a time of celebration for them because the crop season was over. So this is why they called it crop over. And from then on, they beca it became like a spin-off to our ancestors like our foreparents did all created this season where there was fun activities obviously music um, you know whatever kind of instruments they would play with the drums or whatever so this is our carnival and it does have a rich history behind it and I was very um, happy that the person asked that question so thank you so much for asking that question. It showed that you were very interested in our culture, that that really made me very pleased. All right, the second question, which I'll leave on the screen, but because I don't have the question directly in front of me, I will not be able to say it verbatim, but basically the person is asking in the video, how do I manage to get my boobs to stay up and lifted without a bra? So for many of you, who watch my videos you do not know a lot about me first off I have breast implants so when you have breast implants your boobs tend to stay up I know my look very natural a lot of people often tell me oh my god I had no idea yours do not look like other people's own my doctor was is a great doctor now I'm not here to promote cosmetic surgery but I'm definitely not against it I just think that everything has to be done in moderation but to each his own your body your life you do what you want to do I'm not here to preach to anyone and tell them what to do with their bodies so um, basically the reason why I wanted to get breast implants is because when I was younger a teenager actually and I was going through puberty as my breast grew they grew as lumps so it's a hormonal imbalance where I have too much estrogen and it causes fibrocystic breasts so as I was growing my boobs were growing obviously as your teenager that's when you're you know you start to get the menstruate and your body starts to change you start to get hips you know you start to develop so my boobs were growing fairly rapidly I would say but each time they grew um, like on a monthly basis when my period come there were these lumps that would actually start to grow. So they almost looked like seeds. I should have probably put a disclaimer at the beginning before I started to talk about this, just in case anyone gets a little like crazy about stuff like this. But this is just something that happened. Um, I had no control over it. And my breasts grew, they grew fairly big. I would say it was probably um, a small D cup. And I remember one of my friends was like she kind of like bumps into me one day and she was like oh my god your boobs are hard now mind you obviously my breasts were a little bigger than other girls my age uh, but i didn't know what other people's boobs felt like and no one ever touched my boobs so i did not know that they felt different but when my friend said that to me she was like oh my god your breath your, your breasts are hard like i was like i thought every breath thought everyone's 
breast felt that way. So clearly that was not the case. Anyway, so a couple of years later, I'm now probably 18, 19, and I went to my very first GYN visit. And this is when I found out that I had this problem because all along my boobs are growing. And in fact, I noticed that one of them, you could see like the mark, that mark, that demarcation, I would call it, where the dent of one of the lumps actually showed on the outside of my boob. So I could see that there was something kind of weird there. So when my doctor checked me out, he recognized that I had these lumps and that they needed to be removed. Within about three days or so, I went and got the surgery done, um, had the lumps removed. Now, my breasts always hurt. I mean, every time I had a period, my breasts would hurt so bad. Like really, really bad. And I didn't know why it would hurt like that. I thought other people's boobs hurt. And I think I've heard other people say that during that time. But I didn't know if anyone's boobs hurt as much as mine. But they were very, very sore and painful. And all of this I found out was because of the lumps that were growing. Um, when the lumps were removed, the size of them were, I would say, like a, a tangerine. Like the size of a full-size tangerine they were pretty big and I ended up with boobs that were deflated basically because whatever was ruining there that took up my breast mass that was taken out so the, my, the mass of my breast whatever that was was mostly these lumps that were removed so basically my boobs were a lot softer and they weren't sitting up right and ever since that time I wanted to fix that problem I never felt confident about my boobs especially if I had to get naked in front of anyone it didn't matter if it was my partner it didn't matter if it was a friend a family I always felt conscious that my boobs were less than or didn't look good you know so I, I didn't like that so as an adult believe it or not a full-grown woman going through all my years with the boobs they where they were not confident about them but not having anyone say that they look bad I did have some scars already from having these lumps removed and disclaimer my doctor Marbet has never left a scar on my breast when I got here I, this was something that I did at least six times I had the lumps removed about six times during the course of my adult life but the ones that I did here those are the ones that I got scars from <gasps> this is a Barbados is considered a small island but yet my doctor was so good that when he removed those lumps he didn't leave any scars so he used the areola that's where he made his incision so when it healed you couldn't see the dark mark because your aerial is already dark well if you know me you know that i do have a scar down here a little bit it's right at the top right here um and that's from that removal of one of the lumps that i had because even though i removed the lumps the initial time because i was still having hormonal issues and a very high estrogen level those lumps kept coming throughout the years. The last surgery I had, I was in my 30s, and that was the last one. I decided I didn't want to have the surgery anymore. They were all benign, and they weren't life-threatening. So me keeping those lumps, or holding on to the lumps, and refusing to have any more surgeries um, was my choice. And I still have some right now. I think about three, two in one and one or the other. And they grow slowly. My estrogen level obviously has dropped over time. But there are some times where I do feel that pain um, around my cycle. So, yes, I still do have those lumps. And I got the surgery even with the lumps in there. But they're very small. They're nowhere near the size that the first ones were. So, um, yeah, that is my story about my, my boobs. I decided I would share it in case other people were wondering the same thing when they see my videos and didn't have the courage to ask. Um, that person <laughs> went straight out and asked. They, were, they didn't mix matters, they didn't mix words. 
they were very clear <laughs> they wanted to know what, what is your secret so that is the reason why I do not need to wear a bra for my boobs to look lifted but even before then I used to use tape um, that tape that is used by so many people right now I was using that tape for years to lift my boobs um, and it works y'all so if you don't want to go the route of going under the knife you can do that so yeah <laughs> all right I know this is going to be a long vlog because I'm talking a lot and in case you're interested in this glass this is from Ikea I'll try to leave links to these as well I think it's a, usually a box of four guys I ended up having a box delivered I showed this in a previous video and two of these were broken so I only have two currently and I plan to get two more <laughs> so basically um, I left them on the floor one day the broken pieces in the box and Jay threw them out I wanted to return them so I could get my the new the two new ones but anyhow they weren't that expensive so I didn't stress it so I'll pick up a couple more because I really love these very beautiful wine glasses You guys may already know that I have a subscription service with a brand called Kinder Beauty because I am very interested in living a more clean life, meaning I want to put more organic things on my skin, more natural products. I don't just want to eat more natural products and drink more natural things. I want to also have these things to use on my, my body, on my face, on the raw because eventually the things you put on your skin does seep into your pores and into your bloodstream. So it's very important for me to try to get more things that are safer for me overall. And this is why I ended up subscribing to Kinder Beauty because they send me different items every month that are helping me to do that. So I have shared two boxes already, given away two boxes already because initially I was getting an extra box and I didn't know why but it looked like I had two subscriptions and I didn't know so I think I cancelled one now but I still had another one coming so I currently have one more box that I will be giving away to one of you lucky people if you're interested the first person who says that they want this box is yours okay let me show you guys what is in it so this is what the box looks like so I'll have to open it in order for you guys to see what's in it I already opened mine but the stuff is all over the place because I used some of the items already so it comes with this card that basically tells you what is in the package so in this one it contains a shaving cream or shaving lotion here's the shaving cream it's a very big bottle this one that I can see that lasting you a very long time and it has a bottle of cuticle oil which is in this little vial here I'm not gonna unwrap this it's wrapped in the bubble wrap to keep it safe from breaking and then there is also this glycolic overnight treatment I love the little tube that they put it in it almost looked like a carton of juice that kids would drink and then a makeup palette that I absolutely love guys I don't want to open up Alright, I'm going to have to open up this one in order for you guys to see what it looks like. Hopefully I can put it back together without interrupting the packaging too much. Alright, so these are the beautiful colors. Lots of purples, lots of greens. I really, really love bright colors. So if you're someone who's like me, who like greens and blues and purples, then you know what? This box is for you. And the final thing inside of the box are a set of makeup brushes for applying the eye makeup. So this comes with three of them. Now, I think um, the monthly subscription, honestly, it's not a lot of money. It's probably like $15 or something like that. It might even be cheaper than that if you pay like in advance because I think I paid for six months in advance. So that is it. If you are interested in this Kinder Beauty Box, 
let me know leave that comment in the description if you think you know someone who might be interested also make sure you send them the link to this video so that they can watch and if they're interested then they will let me know if you are interested of course because the very first person who requests this you are the one who will get it and i will based on the timeline of messages that i receive that is how i'll choose the winner okay all right the next thing i wanted to do is share with you some items that i got from pr nail and guys cerevital so i've worked with cerevital about three times already and i love that brand i love that they're catering to people in my age group and even younger it's n honestly the earlier you start to treat your skin correct the easier it is to avoid certain issues with skin as it ages so cerevital gives you a ton of things to help treat and prevent aging in your skin and i'm talking about from blemishes dark marks um wrinkles firming toning and they also have vitamins that you can use that will help you to maintain a healthy weight those are my faves i use them all the time they are not cheap but i buy them because i feel like they make a difference when i use them and they happen to send me another box and i probably have probably like three or four packets of the vitamins left when i got this box this week i was so darn happy i was not expecting it at all so it says gloria as we head into fall Here's a little repair and restore for post summer sun. Enjoy. So I love that they said it and says from the team at Cervital. Was not expecting this. I've been talking to you guys for about 30 minutes because my video just paused. So I was not expecting this at all. And when I received it, I was super excited. So these are these the uh, Cervital Advanced. You read it, it gives you all of the information about it. Clinically tested to increase human growth hormones with advanced improvements in skin correction and weight loss. Listen, if you are having problems losing weight or maintaining your weight as you get older, this is for you. I know quite a few people who have purchased these since I started using them. Some of my friends, including my neighbor, um, and we talk about it all the time. We don't want to even see our box get empty. So I'm so happy because I have just a few more and I was going to go order another set from Amazon. Guys, I'll leave links to these. And I'll leave links to even the Kinder Beauty box um, in case anyone is interested in having uh, that subscription service. And you can pause it, you can do it as long as you want. Like, it's not something that you have to commit for to forever, you know? Another item in the box is a comfort bead cleanser. Also, the deep moisture recovery whip. Now, these are some huge containers. So these are probably gonna last me for a very long time. And another item that I've used before that I really, really love, and my bottle broke. Yes. And I had not take, um, I hadn't bought another one since that broke. So I am so happy to have this. This is a suddenly smooth, gentle with retinol treatment. Guys, you know retinol is everything. If you want to like help to smooth your skin tone, help reduce fine lines, help to reduce um, darker areas or hyperpigmentation, retinol. Anything that has some form of retinol is good. It's the end of the weekend, but I still wanna... Okay guys, I am going to try to make this as fast as possible, okay? I will be showing you some things that I got from New York and Company. As most of you may know, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I had a collaboration with um, New York and Company where I actually got to not only shoot for their um, summer campaign, uh, so basically I'm in their catalog, on their online catalog, um, wearing one of their jeans, which is the perfect fit jeans. And it, the one I had really fit me like a glove, like it was made for me. Everyone had a different jeans, so it was, it was beautiful. 
anyway this is not about the jeans right now this is about some other items that they sent me after the shoot and uh, I actually want to give away some of these pieces so guys I have eight pieces from New York and company that I will be giving away including this beautiful white dress it's very dramatic if you are into drama then this is for you okay all right so starting with this dress I will show you in a cut away how this dress looks this dress has these beautiful it almost looks like pleats that goes all the way around the shoulder and it fits off the shoulder and then the rest of the dress is very form-fitting now it's a very beautiful bright white so if you're into like a bright white this is the dress for you and i styled it with my choker that i got from zara's this love choker um, zara's recently have been off the chain with their jewelry i also bought these butterfly earrings from them and the matching bracelet guys i'm obsessed with the bracelet i am legit obsessed I always think about like Superwoman. <laughs> she had she wears something like these. Anything that is like a huge cuff or a statement um, bracelet piece is so in every single thing. To to me, in terms of how fashion is going, it's all about making the statement. So simplicity is okay, but if you really want to step it up a notch and you're wearing something that is a little simple you can always elevate that style or enhance that style by wearing a more dramatic um, accessory um, in addition i'm wearing this ring from barbados um, i picked it up from the um, a vendor who was selling some other items this and earrings on the street close to where we were staying in fact i should show you guys the earrings too they almost look like a fish or a snake or I don't know whatever you want to call it I love these earrings as well and they're very very light so if you are worried about weighty wearing weighty your earrings are already weighty on your lobes these are very very light I think I paired this dress with a pair of gold strappy heels that are by Shoots Shoots is one of my very favorite shoe brands if you're looking for like beautiful well crafted shoes at an affordable price try shoes their things aren't cheap but they are affordable so i think like on average you can find a pair of shoes by shoes for about like 100 120 dollars so i think for me if you are looking for a like a medium range shoe brand shoots is the one for you guys by the way i also braided my hair recently it's been braided for about two weeks when i got back from crop over i was so sick guys I mean, I was down. I was down for the count, and um, Jay literally nursed me back to help. In fact, he was working one day, and he left work. <laughs> he, that man almost lost his job coming home to take care of me because I, I, I was done. I could not do anything for myself. Like for a day or two, I was just so tired and weak, and yeah. It was bad so I, apparently I had like some kind of respiratory infection so my sinuses like was overactive runny nose then I had mucus on my chest so basically I was at crop over for almost two weeks came back and was sick for almost two weeks I was crazy it was almost like I was making up for the time or my body was making up for the time that I spent there so I had to get a lot of rest and recoup in order to be myself again but I'm 100% now I gotta work up for two weeks guys and that that really sucked because I hated having to tell you ladies if any of you are watching that I couldn't work out because I know a lot of you really look forward to those workouts by the way if you're interested in working out with me leave I leave my information in the description box lifewithlordb at gmail.com send me an email let me know and I will give you all the information that you need okay I would love to have you come join us all right so this is the first thing that I plan to give away guys because there are eight pieces I think I want to do three sets of giveaways for these pieces if you are interested in this giveaway list everything in order so I'll give them 
you you know the names and I'll I just want you to list number one number two number three it may take a minute but just say which item you prefer starting at one so if it's one and this is your favorite then this will be number one number two your second favorite number three your second favorite because what I'm going to do is I'm going to give two people the first and the second person who requests um, some of these pieces I will give those two people three pieces and then the final person, the third person who's interested, will get the last two items that's remaining. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> I want to make it fair and just spread it out a bit so that at least three people who are interested can get some of these items. All right. And if you're interested in the kind of beauty box as well, you're open to that and these. So it's not like you're restricted from having either, either this or that. Okay. This next item is this beautiful short dress now this dress has a nice gold zipper up the back it's a metal zipper not those invisible ones that give you <laughs> so much stress then it has these wide balloon type um, sleeves with elastic in the um, wrist area and you can wear that those sleeves along or pull them up to your elbow or even higher if you feel like and then it has like a full belt so this is not a natural belt but a a buckle so it appears like you're wearing a belt this dress is also a size small so some items are medium and some items are small so bear in mind all of that when you're choosing what you want okay so this here is a size small it's a little roomy in the waist for me my waist is about 27 so if your waist is about my size, just bear in mind that it might be a little roomy in the waist. You can always have that adjusted. Okay. And then there's the elastic in the back to stretch. So just in case you are even a little bigger than I am, it should stretch to conform to your waist, okay? I love this. It really fits me beautifully. Um, and I styled it, styled it up exactly how I would possibly wear it if I was keeping it. And guys, just so you know, the reason why I'm giving away these items is that I am really truly trying to be a little bit more mindful of how many things I have that I'm not wearing. Like I have a ton of clothes that sometimes I'll wear them once and then I'll sell them on Poshmark because I really do not want to keep things in my wardrobe that I am not wearing. Um, and I actually think I'm going to be putting some of the things that I just wore in Barbados in my Poshmark um, storefront so just in case you're interested like that orange dress for instance I think I might sell that might <laughs> I'm considering it okay it, it's possible I might just wear it one more time for a future vacation this year or I'll just go ahead and sell it um, you know and buy something else for my other vacation so I'm not holding on to things if I think I'm not going to be wearing them or like um, over time for within a short period of time and when I say a short period of time like if I don't see myself wearing it this year or next year because I have so many other things then I need to get rid of them I do not want to keep a closet full of things that I'm looking at um, yeah not that I, I'm trying to live a minimalist life but I do want to be less excessive with how many things I hold. next one piece that I really like this fits me so good I almost wanted to keep this one it's a beautiful long flowy dress guys a beautiful round neckline it has the elastic and the waist to cinch you in and a cuddles on the side so I do love a cuddle in the waist it always makes your waist look a little smaller just that because your, your eyes are drawn inward I love that it comes with these strings that are adjustable on each tear so for each tear with the the flow each one has a string that you can adjust you can tighten it or you can leave it looser love this dress it zips up the back very comfy just easy breezy effortless dress love it New York and company did their thing with a lot of these pieces so if you guys are interested in any of these items, I will also try to leave links to them just in case you don't get um, to win any of the pieces or if they're not your size. I'll be trying to make sure I leave those links in the description. Alright, moving on. This jumper, so this is a color blocked one. This is, the, this is like a burnt orange and I guess beige and black. I think this is ideal for work. If you are interested in something like this it has a very small type of shoulder pad 
perfect for the summertime in the office look. It zips up the back and it's a four wrap front. It stretches, it's like kind of like a stretchy material. So it has some form of spandex in here. And this is a size small as well. So just for reference again, my height is 5'8". Five, five I'm about 140 pounds. So my, I would say, size is usually a small, very rarely will I go up to a medium. And in fact, sometimes I have to move down to an extra small. So, but I think that I am like the perfect size small in most of Next up, this is beautiful dress. Now, and this is kind of like a animal print, I would say. Yeah, it kind of reminds me like a leopard but not the actual leopard print, but kind of like a variation of it. This dress fits so good. I decided to wear it with like a little chain that I have, just to emphasize the waist a little bit because this waistline was also a little too big for me. And this is a size small. So I just feel like maybe in New York and Company's pieces that a small, to me, is a little just a tad bit too big for me so I would probably be better off if I went for a size extra small if I was purchasing it, purchasing it myself but these were all sent to me and you know I told them my size which I expected would be a perfect size small but these are all just a little bit too big I really love the little sleeves on here I love how they balloon out and they come off the shoulder if you want Guys, another beautiful dress. Love the little tear at the hem. And it's such a flattering dress on anyone's figure, I think. And these dramatic shoulders are everything. Up is this pants. Now, these flowy, flowy pants. What I'm showing you in the cutaway is actually a size small. This is a medium. So I happened to get this one when I was shooting for the um, Gabrielle Union's summer collection. So this was one of Gabrielle Union's um, pieces. This was a size medium which was a little bit big for me but I still was able to style it and in the cutaway you, you'll see that I'm actually wearing the small and not this one. So this is a medium. So this fits me good too because it has elastic in the waist. So I think between a small and a medium sized person can actually fit this. Um, I wouldn't suggest a large if you're a large a size large even though it may fit you depending on how big your legs are or how big your hips are for me I don't have very big hips but my legs are a little thicker so be mindful if you're going to choose this um, based upon how the small fits me just kind of like yes get half a type of an idea of how you think this medium will fit you okay so it's size medium beautiful long tropical type of print. Love it. So I have two more items guys, almost done. So first up is this beautiful yellow and white wide leg pants. Guys, this makes your waist look snatched and then it just flows out and it has pockets. Everything guys. This is also in a size small. So if you're interested in your size small or even a size medium, I think could get away with this. This is for you guys. I love it. I think I paired this with a yellow top also from New York Company that I absolutely love. It reminds me of the called Gaia top that everyone was seen in recently. Like a lot of brands have remade that same top. So it has like these pleats that go all the way across and then it's an elastic in the top around the neck and elastic in the waistline and then elastic in the sleeve area. So you can wear the sleeves longer or crunch them up. This is now the final piece, which is this beautiful, like it's almost like a silk fabric. And I don't know what the type of fabrics are because I didn't read all the tags. But I love that this is so easy and effortless. It has two pockets in front and then there's slit ones in the back. And it is like the perfect length to me. It's not too short and it's definitely not too long. Very, very comfortable. In the colorway, you will see that I'm wearing it with the same yellow top, but 
that one that I'm wearing is a size small. Again, this is from the Gabrielle Union collection. That and that yellow pants that I just showed you is from the Gabrielle Union Times New York and Company collection, her summer travel collection. Really love this pants so, so much. And I'm wearing mine in the small, and this is a size medium. So if you're a little bigger than I am and you're interested in this, please let me know. This is the end of all of the items that I'll be giving away on this video. I don't know, this is now Sunday. I hope to have this video edited and uploaded by sometime in the middle of the week. I'm no longer sticking to like a day on which I want to upload videos until I can find someone to edit my videos for me and that I can afford to pay for them to edit my videos for me. I'm gonna have to just get the videos to you whenever I can because I honestly cannot determine what my weeks are going to be like, unfortunately. Yesterday, I was planning to do this video, like do all the recording, and everything just went left, because I got up early thinking that I was going to be able to do the filming and everything, but I didn't have enough time before I started my workout. And then after the workout, Jay and I and his daughter, we went to a little family gathering, a little, pool party backyard kind of a situation in Connecticut with my sister and her family and some of her friends. A lot of Barbadians were there, a lot of Asians. So it was very good seeing people that I hadn't seen in a long time and just relaxing and chilling with um, everyone and just holding a vibe basically. So that was kind of it for the weekend. The thing is if I was able to get that recording done yesterday I would have probably been editing this video right now but since I'm just wrapping up the video and I think it's like close to 4 p.m. guys the days are packed my days are packed because I teach my workout sessions I do the influence and sometimes I have a campaign that I have to work on and then I have to record my YouTube videos and I have to edit them so my days are so packed I did a ton of things and I actually had to take time out to press and um, steam out some of these pieces that I'm showing you because I didn't want to just like throw them on the way they came in the box all wrinkled so yeah even that took about an hour and a half just to get done so yeah now I think all I want to do is sit finish my glass of plus and then have something to eat and watch some movies or something all right guys I appreciate you all so so much don't forget, let me know which of these items are your favorite, starting from the top all the way down. So from one to eight, which is your favorite? If you're interested in having any of these pieces, so that what will happen is by default, if you're number one, you're gonna get the first three picks. If you're number two, you're gonna get whatever is left back of your first top pick, three picks. If you're number three, you're the third winner, you're going to get the last two items. So I'm just trying to be fair with how I'm doing the giveaway, okay? So guys, thank you so, so much for joining me. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, guys. Thumbs up matters. Your comments matter. Sharing my videos matter. The more you communicate with me and the more you support the channel, the more I can bring to you. Because I would probably then be able to afford to pay someone to edit these videos. Because for right now, <laughs> editing does take up a good chunk of my time so I want to just thank you guys so much for rocking with me actually before I leave I also wanted to say a special thank you to all of you who joined this channel recently because I know that I had an influx of um, new uh, new subscribers within the last couple of weeks since I posted the crop over video whatever the reason you are here I want to say welcome to the fam and thanks again for coming over and I really look forward to seeing you guys again in my next video. Mm -hmm. Bye guys.